One of the most prominent examples of nullification in the 19th century had everything to do with slavery, but it was people opposing slavery that used this tool to protect liberty, and not the other way around. Jerry is what everyone called him. His birth name was William Henry. He was a 40-year-old escaped slave from Missouri. He was living in Syracuse, New York for eight years before he was arrested in 1851 under the Federal Fugitive Slave Act. But Syracuse was an abolitionist hotspot. So popular was the city among anti-slavery forces that it was known as the Great Central Depot of the Underground Railroad. Earlier in 1851, the hated Secretary of State, Daniel Webster, had warned that the law would be enforced even here in Syracuse in the midst of the next anti-slavery convention. The arrest of Jerry was considered a message from the federal government that the locally unpopular law would be seriously enforced by federal agents. But abolitionists were not deterred by Webster's federal threat, and Jerry had a lot of local support. An immediate effort to free Jerry helped him escape to the street in irons, but he was quickly recaptured. He was then relocated to a more secure room, but a crowd of 2,500 people surrounded the building, and they overwhelmed them by numbers, not by blows. Jerry was brought to a safe house, and a few days later, he made his way to freedom in Canada. 26 people were put on trial for helping Jerry escape, but only one person was convicted. That's because they couldn't find a jury in the area willing to do anything but acquit. In the other direction, the rescuers were eventually able to get an indictment against Marshall Allen for kidnapping Jerry and use the occasion to argue against the constitutionality of the federal fugitive slave law. While Allen wasn't sent to prison either, the entire episode shows how Northern abolitionists used various tools from protests to the Underground Railroad, direct action, and various forms of nullification to block the practical effect of the pro-slavery federal act in Syracuse. <laughs>